Welcome back, all you warriors. Another episode of Elite Landscapes Life Stories. Today, I'm going to have to ask for your comments, like big time, because I need to know your opinion on this. And it goes out to business owners and employees that work for companies. So stay tuned for the video. We're going to touch base on the invasion of privacy and how far can companies and businesses go when it comes against you. And should, home, should business owners be allowed to do this or not by law? In the meantime, after we mow this beautiful property, I'm going to take you over here and show you a beautiful decorative tree that, you see those big walls? Big walls are bare and empty and ugly. We got stuff trained and growing up them. So stay tuned. We'll show you some beautiful landscapes some amazing stripes and it's gonna be a good topic definitely a good topic you need to stick around nine years of growth on this beautiful landscape design and installation project we did and this is the amazing weeping blue atlas that we put in the corner to cover these bare walls now it is one of my very very favorite specimens of decorative trees in certain locations. When you have bare walls that need to be covered, you can easily drill that eyelet into the mortar and tie these little bad boys up. And they will end up growing their own way up that wall. And as time passes, every two years or so, I'll come through and I will snake it up the wall a little bit more. And that's what we got right now. We have two of them on this property. Absolutely stunning in my opinion. The Weeping Blue Atlas is definitely something you should consider on your property or for your clients. You know, it's a funny thing that once you develop passion for your career, you notice it everywhere you go, all over the place. And as a landscaper, I love to take note of different properties that I go to, that I take care of, and incorporate the different plants, trees, and shrubs, perennials that I see, and then make them my own in different locations. Once you make this a habit of yours, you will realize how these plants and shrubs and trees grow in over the years and what benefits they can do for you. Now, I got this climbing hydrangea concept from my mansion properties, along with many other concepts on this design, as the boxwoods that I've used, the different colors, the blues, the reds, the limes, the dark greens. It all becomes part of you once you've developed this passion in life. So when you pick up a new property, bring that passion to that owner's awareness and eventually they'll be doing some renovations some new landscape ideas with you all it takes is you opening up that thought process that hey i could definitely have a beautiful landscape and we can let him do it all i will reap the benefits of his labor so the reason I showed you that beautiful tree is because the client behind me here asked me to design and install a bed in his backyard. So I'll show you what it looks like and uh, let me know your thoughts on that tree. Should it go in that corner or not? I think it should. Leave in the comments. We're rolling. Let's go. This is the second spot that I like to put those weeping blue atlas trees are in corners that they can grow out of and cover areas. So if I can surround it with these boxwoods, I think that would be beautiful in that corner. So I'm going to touch on this subject real quick and then I'll show you where we're at and the beautiful views once we get done mowing. It's a uh, kind of relaxing and peaceful, but only because it's manicured already. It's huge and it takes a lot of effort <laughs> and we're exhausted. So here's the deal, guys. I want to hear from business owners, any business at all. I need to know and leave in the comments. Have you ever 
hired a private investigator to follow one of your former employees? Well, just yes or no in that. And if you have, if you have time, throw in the comments what circumstances made you go that extended route. Because, I don't know, the, the, the story I'm going to tell you at the end of this video, it kind of is happening now. And in my opinion, it's an invasion of privacy. And this person could flip the script on this gentleman. And in my opinion, take his whole business for free and legally. So, hey, stick around, man, because it's, it's pretty interesting. And it could easily happen to any one of us that runs a business and has employees. Or <laughs> easily happen to you if you just happen to be working for the man. And he ain't happy as you left. That's where we're at. We'll check back in. Check this place out. Let's go ahead and talk about two different scenarios. One is in favor of the business owner that is protecting the company that he has built and the relationships that he has built over the years of his ownership. And the other one is in favor of the employee that just has had enough of working for the man and wants to start his own adventure, his own business in life. Let's go ahead and say that you are the owner and you have a foreman that takes care of all of your commercial properties, your entire route. And while he's been taking care of your properties, say for two, three, four years, he's been conversating with the managers and getting friendly with them. He knows them very well. And he decides, hey, I want these contracts. I want these properties. They're easy to do and I think I want them. And then they start running their mouth and they start to persuade these managers to put your name in there for the bid next year. Or even worse, just drop the person just on their face and you lost the contract in the middle of the season. Now that is dirty. It's dirty ethics and business and you can and should get sued for going through and backstabbing your employer. All employers do a lot in the background to take care of these workers and the families that depend on them and all their sales that they accumulate. So if you're a business owner, be aware this happens often in life. And in this circumstance, I would hire a private investigator and I would get to the bottom of what all went on and I would take that employee to court and they would probably owe a lot of money at the end of that court session but this is not the circumstance that we're going to talk about because the circumstance that we're going to talk about in my opinion is harassment stalking and yeah i would probably reverse it get actual footage of these people that were stalking me and take that man to court and I would eventually have all his money and I would just take his business. Let's talk right now. So let's talk about the other situation that as an employee, I've been telling you guys for the last two years to stop working for the man and do your own thing, right? That's exactly my message here is that once you get the knowledge and the understanding of how this industry works, do it for yourself to make the money you deserve. So I'm gonna put me in this gentleman's situation and talk to you guys, okay? I've been working for this company for 15 years. A lot of, <laughs> not physical abuse, but a lot of verbal abuse and just drama, okay? Just nonstop drama all the time. So I've had enough. I'm ready to go on my own and benefit my family. So because I know this gentleman that I'm dealing with is not rational and cannot have a adult conversation. I go ahead and just, I quit, okay? Didn't say anything to anyone. The reason I quit, my paychecks bounced. My paycheck, my wife's paycheck, and my son's paycheck, because we all work for the man. That's not a good situation. That was my motivation to quit. A few days later, I'm at my house. I go outside. There's a silver car across that way. You know, there's just a lady sitting there. So I get curious. I zoom in on the lady. Oh, 
she's filming me at my house, just hanging out. Okay, cool. I'll take some pictures, some proof, and I'll go about my day. Now, this lady follows me throughout my day for the next five days. I've got proof of it all, okay? This is harassment. It's stalking, in my opinion. Because see, when you're a individual that has no morals, no values to you and your life, and you stoop down low places to accomplish your missions and you lie constantly, you think everyone else is the same way. So if you're an evil conniving, 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 if you're evil and conniving, that's what you think everybody is, but we're not, okay? In this situation, I just wanted to get away from the crazy man and start my own business. And that's what he did. He's going through it right now. And because today's society is all about feelings and emotions, in my opinion, I would collect all this information. I would take it to court and I would claim that he just ruined my life. I couldn't function. He's stopping me from fulfilling my dreams and there's no evidence of me taking any accounts from this man. Matter of fact, I took someone's advice and I built a wall, imaginary wall, in between me and this individual. And I built that wall and I forgot that he was over there for good. I don't want to hear his name. I don't want to see his face. And I'm done thinking about him. So is it right for a boss, an owner, an employer to have you followed by a private investigator and tailed on your day-to-day -day missions just because he thinks that you're conniving? There's no proof. There's no nothing like that. So let me know. I'm very, very curious if this is legal. And if it is, when does it cross the line into stalking and harassment where I can get my information, go to the court system, sue the man, get all that money, buy my equipment, and go take his accounts because he ain't gonna have no money to run his business next year. There's a thought. So crazy, crazy days, crazy circumstances. And when you get into this world, this adulthood that no one taught you about in school, you'll come up to situations and it's best to reach out to other people, other older people that have the experience and the knowledge and they can tell you how it could go this way or it could go that way. So as always, be good if you can, always be kind and above all, love each other. Peace, Elite Landscape Style.